breakfast live good morning good morning everyone welcome to Yardy belly tv at breakfast live yes i'm waiting for my notification Good morning to you. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to Breakfast Live. Again, happy Thursday. Hope everybody's doing good. Hope everybody is staying safe. It's a beautiful day outside. Yes. And it's time to cook some food. How you all doing? Let us know where you're logging in from so we can give you our usual shout out. Yes. Are you mailing fun? I still haven't gotten my notification. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Oh, oh come. Good morning, guys. Yeah? Why why are the thing not fixed? Let me fix my camera so I can see our beautiful face. I know I'm cute. I hate that angle, but hey. You hate that angle? Mm -hmm. Why? Up underneath you hit the rope. So what do we do? Which is on a higher level. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Waiting on some folks to jump on in. Yes, we're going to be doing some crazy things this morning. And I'm sharing as we go. I'm sharing on my uh, Facebook page. They be tripping. Tripping, tripping, tripping. Good morning. Morning, morning, morning. Good morning. Good morning to you. Yes, man, it's a Thursday morning. And we know some folks are. Oh, oh now surviving. Those who, are, who have to be home. Are, how are you guys surviving? You know, uh, um, you know, taking it good, taking it bad. How is it going in your neck of the woods? Finally. Righty. All right. So that that is up. Good and morning, Anis King. Morning to you, girl. And guess what, guys? Anis, good morning to you. Today is Holy Thursday. And it is an important time in the Christian religion, in the Jewish religion as well. I believe today is the beginning of Passover. And it's it's a good day to be alive, yeah? It's a good day to be alive. Today is Holy Thursday. Janice Jones, good morning to you. Good morning, guys. We are here because we are here. Yes, yes, yes. It's a beautiful day. Beautiful day. All right. So, Marie Swaby, Mbanwe, good morning. Trina, good morning to you, Janice Jones. Mar oh, you said Marie already. Marie, big up yourself. <laughs> yeah. Try, big up yourself, youth. Yes, try, big up yourself. We are here yourself. on this Holy Thursday. And um, there's another name for Holy Thursday. I'm trying to remember it. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it was usually the, the morning where or the day when people would give alms to the poor. Mm. Yeah. So it's another name. Miss Yardi here is lovely. Thanks to her. What's another name for Holy Thursday? 
Our hair is lovely thanks to her Jamaican black castor oil and her Edges. one true natural um, product, Shine of Mine. Yes. Yeah, and you notice my hair. I'm trying to see if I can grow my beard. So I'm going to use some castor oil around here. So I'll see if I can grow it. Because for years I've been doing a goatee. Every but time now I'm going to try to grow, grow a beard like how I do a beard. That's going to be great. Yeah, but gray is nice. I'm 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 a sexy gray. Good morning, Simone. <laughs> you know I don't mind gray, but I I don't get gray beard with full black hair. I don't get that. I can't understand if if you have black. Salt well, it has a sort of it has a sort of pepper up. Dezil, good morning to you. Oh. Dezilla, good morning to you. Before I forget the shine of mine, good day, good for yeah. The shine of mine is excellent for dry scalp. Excellent for scalp. Um, as a matter of fact. It it is the, the 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 Jamaican black castor oil is in the shine of mine with other medicinal oils that really and truly elevate your scalp. Yeah, mm -hmm. but we're not here to discuss the the sponsorship at this time. <laughs> <laughs> we're here to make some good food. Yes, my band, my band, we said God is good. You are here because He woke us up. Yes, yes, yes. Janice Jones says that black castor oil is nice. Thank I promise you, you girl. I promise you. I'm telling you. I morning, tell you. Sim Sima. Good morning. Sim Sima. Who got the keys to my bima? Who and I? All right, all right. So there. two people have sung. Coffee yeah, two people have sung. Sim Sima, you just get a song. Mm -hmm. Me not have no song for try. So yeah, try, 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 try. Me <laughs> not have no song. <laughs> <laughs> we have a movie theme. Why? Why we look so young this morning? Let me tell you why I look so young. I, I promise you this. I promise you. Vitamin A, vitamin E, vitamin, vitamin C, and vitamin D, and vitamin um, B, B, what? B, something else. Sick. Vitamin B, lovely. <laughs> oh my God. And serums. And the serums, yes. And the master tonic. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, God. Kim Cannon, good morning to you. Kim, yeah, you your any relationship to Nick Cannon because we need some endorsement. <laughs> mm -hmm. Brooklyn is here. Ah, uh, God is good. Brooklyn, we, we we our prayers are going out to Brooklyn, the entire Brooklyn, because mm -hmm. we know it is a rough time the for the city of New York, York, the entire New York, Queens. Those I was just in Queens. I mean, uh, last last year, last year what November. I think so. Yeah, I was just in Queens last year, um, November, and you know, to know that now it's the epicenter of what's going down, um, generally, it's crazy. It's really crazy. I, I saw this post where uh, uh, the Democratic Republic of Congo is putting out something that says they do not want any type of testing, corona vaccine testing in their country. Um, it's 85 people who have died in the entire country from this disease, and they are doing their best to keep the, 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 the thing low and they don't they stay there. so guys if you follow the trend going around and around there are people who are avoiding this thing you know mm -hmm. every day we every time that we end up having to go on the road for necessities we see where people really and truly are not practicing social distancing and are not hygienically even aware they're not even hygienically aware if there's a, that's a term hygienically I mean, I don't think so, but it people works. just out there, them are walk with their masks, them just in at the line at the supermarket underneath the next person back. I saw somebody walk up to somebody at the bus stop this morning and shake hand. Morning, Bridget. Oh, you do? You're good? Yeah, man. <laughs> Blessings. And, and the two of them, one have on a mask, one have on no mask. And the two of them just casual. Just, you know? So it's crazy what's going on. Organic authenticity, laughter, and good cooking, good vibes. That's what the thing said, brother. So the thing said, I saw your stand up for the. Who was that man who just left the office? <laughs> what? <laughs> try it, red guy. Still, still not final yet. Try. Not final. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going back. But but for real, th these are what's going on. This is what's going on, and so you know, um, I, I try to stay within the confines of my home. We run out to get some food. I mean, I'm 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 doing food vlogging. So joy, big up yourself, Miami, Miami Garden. In the house. Hey, Miami Florida Garden. In the hey, house. Hey. hey, baby, baby, come on, baby, baby, come on. Big up yourself, big up yourself. Right, full time, full time. I swear, I swear. We've been talking for a long mm -hmm. time, full time. Now let's switch this around. And uh, this morning we are making 
Ta ta na ta 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 na ta na na na. <laughs> We're making plantain porridge. Switch pace. We're making plantain porridge, guys. We are making plantain porridge, and we're using some green, green plantain. plantain. And as you saw in the um, in the, the the title, sweet potatoes. All right. Now. And this is Cuban sweet potato, not the American. Not the orange, the orange sweet, potato, sweet the, potato. The one that is closest to what we are used to in Jamaica. Correct. All right. And as you see, in the interest of time, I had gone ahead and boiled this before because, you know, we, we, we have a limited amount of time. And the wifey had gone ahead and grated some green plantains. And so those are the first two things that you want to do. You want to grate some green plantain. Or you could dice it up because we're going to blend it, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And I had boiled my sweet potato and of course if you wanted to take the risk you could have just done it yeah. without boiling it okay Cam, you could have blend blend it, blend it with without the, boiling it right all right this is sweet potato Janice, and the plantain is green green plantain green plantain and for those sweet who potato. don't know plantain we have the ones that are unpeeled to show you guys how it looks in the skin all right so along with our green plantain we're going to be using some some dates we're going to be using a little bit of flax seed we're gonna be using a little sugar maybe maybe we not, might not use no sugar but yeah, we're we using a little bit of chia chia seeds chia. we're using um almond milk all right and this is the Publix brand we're using don't some all, don't give away all the secrets don't give away all the secrets no why they have to wait they have to wait until the end of the video to see what oh. else we add but we have some we have a very important one that i didn't mention what well so, yeah you have to tell them and that. if yeah that's that's the beginning part so you can tell them that bon bon bonato yes i think it's called bonato simone the, the potato yeah, i think so yeah real. all right so this is the first thing the wife is doing now and when it comes to things like porridge guys the wife had actually queen pan it me me not really take on the sweet stuff Porridge and dumpling. Porridge and dumpling. And banana dumpling. cake. Porridge and dumpling. Dumpling and banana cake. All right. N next thing. You see, she loved the foolishness. Sure. 65E Miracle. Good morning to you. And uh, guys, uh, go ahead and drop a thumbs up in the page. All right. Drop a thumbs up in the page. We appreciate you love the thumbs up. All right. I have here something that is very important. I have some moringa pods or seeds right and moringa is one of those superfoods that you really and truly um, need in your diet when i open my moringa seed pod it has a little you know pit like this i don't know if you can see it that's the moringa pit now this is super potent it is so potent that it it comes off if you should put this in your mouth it would be in immediately super bitter and super sweet at the same time. I cannot explain it. And this is the first time I've ever tasted anything such as this. Super bitter and super duper sweet. And I'm only going to use about four little pods. And that is potent enough to create a super duper vibe in my porridge. All right. So I'm just going to pick all of these and add them to my blender. You're not telling them what you're adding? Two teaspoons or tablespoons rather of old-fashioned oats. And this is just to give it a little bit more body, I yeah, guess. Just to body up the porridge. Yeah. Yeah, because I mean we're using potato and we're using um plantains, you know, which is the big banana for those who don't know what plantains are. Big banana. And we are gonna be adding those to our porridge. And I'm adding water to blend. How much, how much water you just add? One water. You need a little more water. I know. Like you should have added it in the in the in the cup in the cup that measures. Mm. The measure this cup. Is actually, a one cup measurement. Oh, okay. So we have two cups of water in the in the. Wait, wait. I'm doing my thing. You're not. You're putting flax seed and chia seed now. Yes. I think you should put the chia seeds Both. even. Okay. Hold on, I'm doing my sorry guys. I'm I'm trying to do this on camera. This Next is the time moringa. We get it together and do it before. 
you hear Shai rush me? Barrington, good morning. I'm glad to say Barrington, come on, because Barrington will defend me, because th there's no reason for her to be rushing me like that. Good morning, Denise, if you're still there. Thank you for watching. Have a safe day if you're at work. God bless you, Denise. I say, Denise. One and a half tablespoons, right? One and a half tablespoons of uh, flax. Um, flax seeds. And then... I don't think you can use a lot of this thing. And uh, yeah, about that. A little bit of chia seeds. Half piece. Table All seed. right. Barrington, we have in the blender, because Barrington just come and need updated. Mm -hmm. We have um, green plantain. We have sweet potatoes. We have flax seed. We have chia seeds. And we have four moringa seeds. All right. You put in the dates, though. We're going to put some dates. Yeah, and these are dates, guys. And you just open the dates like such and take out the pit. And dates are super duper sweet and will help with digestion, you know, and as well as the protein and all these other factors. So, yeah, that's sort the of thing set. Mm -hmm. Now it's time for the blending. Blend up the thing, blend up the thing. Oh. It's showing you, see? Is it on? It's showing you, see? Why? Put it on super high. And you should start on low. Oh, low first. Alright, so it want more water. Wait, let me put more water. Alright, just add the water to the top. Is that three water? Three cups of water. Thus far. It's super, super duper thick. <laughs> All right. <laughs> this, is, this, it, it, it's a lot of ingredients. In All right. So now we're adding some milk, and uh, you guys just have to get it. You have to just keep adding your liquid until it gets to the consistency. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I like it so far. I like what I so far. I like what I want. Yes, try. The, the blender is Calphalon and it is it is rated alongside of the super blenders that they have out there, but the price is a little bit better. And God is so good. If I tell you my blender story, you, you guys would be like, are you serious right now? Oh, that look, babes. Hold on. Let me get that. Let me get that. Let me get that. Look at this, guys. Look at what's going on right there. Look at what's going on right there. Blender, blend up everything. I regret to tell you that if you try to boil all of this, it's going to be... It's going to be what? Why are you worried? She don't want to cook the food. Guys, let me tell you about my wife. My wife is so is one of those um, type of person who she is super efficient. Meaning, she calculates everything. And make sure say the exact amount of everything is everywhere where it's supposed to be. And so here are now. If my blend all of this, it's gonna be too much. I'm in the house all day. I'm hungry the whole day. <laughs> Listen, this time I don't know where I go on in my life, but as soon as me eat and look up some gossip, 
my hungry again. What's going on? So what I've been doing guys is purposely doing intermittent fasting. I not eat that bad. I not eat so much, see? No. I've been so very restrictive of what I eat. Melo, Mel Leo, good morning. Don't use water, I use almond milk. Jada gal. The potatoes, I had boiled the potatoes. So you're asking if the potatoes were raw or cooked, I had boiled the potatoes. And the reason why I had boiled the potatoes because I wanted them, I just wanted in the interest of time, the potatoes to be cooked. But you can dice them up and use them raw. I, I admit that now. The plantains were raw because the plant, I believe the plantains cook faster than the potatoes. Right, babe? Uh, I'm not not sure. really, not really. I was just, I just, I don't, forgive me. I just did the potatoes out of, um, you know, just doing potatoes. All right. Um, that probably, probably, probably that um, Troy. Troy said the reason why we eat more is because we're bored. So, mm -hmm. but guys. I don't think we eat more though. We we haven't we haven't really, you know. What were the tiny pods, tapioca? No, the tiny pods that you saw were chia seeds. Moringa. Oh well, moringa. Moringa. The tiny pods were moringa. It's some um, um a herb, all right. Um. The plantain was green. I wanted to use ripe plantain, but the wife says no. Green plantain is what. All right, so I am stuck on plantains because plantains stuck on me. I am stuck on plantain because plantains stuck. Hot prune juice? How'd that go? Hot prune juice? Prune juice? Uh, isn't that a laxative type thing? You see it? You see it? Try. We need to hear about that hot prune juice argument there. Hot that needs to. Juice. That Hot needs to come to, come to my um, attention right away. Hot prune juice. All right. Let me, let me. You're welcome, Mel Leo. You are most welcome. All right. So we, we so guys, as, as I was saying about um, hygiene, remember you to take your vitamins. Now, there is another um, cons um, thought that is going around, uh, another um, recommendation by the doctors. And these are doctors in Israel who recommend that in the evenings or afternoons, you take uh, a little bit of warm water, a little bit of um, lime or lemon, and add a small amount of baking soda in it and, and drink that. And that, that they, that's something that they said is good for, um, you know, the coronavirus prevention. And that's from doctors in um, Whitney and there. Uh, Barrington Christian says sweet potato makes it heavy. Well, that's true, that's true, but um, we wanted to use up our, our sweet potato in this way, and so never heard of such a porridge. I'm gonna try it to look like it will be full bodied. Um, Jada Gal, I promise you it's gonna be a strong porridge, a heavy porridge, as Barrington says. But you want something to fill you up that is healthy, and as you can see, we have we have really really pushed for proteins to be a lot of proteins to be in this porridge. Um, and so we want it to be healthy and filling. That's the whole idea. Because otherwise you're going to be snacking the whole day. You know, trust me. Myrna says, I use plantain oats and cornmeal to make my porridge. Myrna, you're on the right track. Um, we, we did use a little bit of oats, again, just for bodying it up. Um, and so we are on the right track. Um, it's a meal in itself. Yep, yep, for, for real, for real. All right, so we are at the stage now where we want to add this plantain porridge. Um, to our pot, you're gonna use the the, the, the the rubber spatula to scoop it out. You're gonna use all of it. I don't think so. She's scared. She's scared, guys. All right, let's get to getting the and water is boiling. Cinnamon stick and cinnamon leaf in there boiling. And how much water is this? Two cups, right? Two cups. Oh, if you don't spin this immediately, there's a problem. So you pour a nice spin. Let's see what this is doing first. I like what I'm seeing so far. 
because we want to use the hand blender. No, that was crap up your pot. We wouldn't touch the bottom of the pot with it. Most of the women in my it's family work in the medical field. When I was sick with the coronavirus, I was badly constipated. Um, my mom told me about hot prune. I love it now, especially with fresh squeeze, uh, squeezed lemon. You know, so so you do you do you take the prune juice and and warm it up, mm -hmm. or do you take the prune and make juice from it? That's the question. That's a, a, a good question. And guys, we really and truly are grateful to God because God's sparing lives. As much as we're hearing that Corona killing a lot of people, God is sparing the lives of some of us. And Troy is an example of that. Um, the next thing that we wanted to know, well, you know what? Funny enough, Troy, the prune juice, that hot prune juice aspect is also super good for people on the regular. Because a lot, one of the studies that came out in recent time is... Um, Oh, um, Myrna says, uh, Myrna says, try using the whisk. That whisk. I like the porridge. I think we could use a little bit more of the thing. It could yeah. be a little thicker. That's all done first. You have to make the pot stop boil first. Okay. Um, yeah, and so um, the prune juice is good because um, one of the problem, one of the things that I heard the doctor said in recent time was the fact that most African Americans right now are struggling with with um weight and health mm -hmm. and and even though the thing it wasn't really and truly a, a black people thing it has become that way now because when you look about when you think about how many blacks are compromised versus white health wise mm -hmm. then you realize that you know we as black people really and truly need to take better care of ourselves it's, and the caribbean folks i i am i'm I, i'm all for black people and general people in general but for the Caribbean folks, I really want the Caribbean folks to put out a little bit more effort. You know, Mo hey, let me tell you something. Jamaican, Trinidadian, um, Guyanese, I'm using those three as example. Some of the best foods that we love are not quite healthy, you know. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, if I tell you. You notice sometimes they describe bland tasting food as white people food. Yeah. And those are the healthier. Uh, and that, not only that, not yeah, only that, the fact that when we do incorporate fruits and vegetables in some of that, it's usually cook out. Mm -hmm. We cook it to, to we cook it to death. And then we the, our basic mm -hmm. idea of fruits and vegetables sometimes is the little um the little cook, cook, cook up, cut up cabbage. We're in a food box. You know? And so we really and truly not or oh, warm up the prune juice. We really and truly not doing ourselves um, good justice, babes. Yes. Got me truck. Send Josh. Hold on, guys. Let me have to send Josh outside. Got a truck come. Josh, oh, you have class. to go ah. yeah josh has class you guys so hobby has to go but i think the porridge is looking good i didn't put all of the the mixture because i feel like it's gonna be overly thick and yeah so this is i love the consistency of it and it's giving me it's giving me oats porridge vibe I think we missed the garbage truck, you guys. And I, I don't like when that happens. Because the garbage truck not going to come again until Monday morning. Uh, that's how it is when you, you lock up in the house. Because usually when we're going to drop Joshua to school is when we normally, you know, know that we need to take out the garbage. And we just take it out at that time when we're dropping him in the mornings. But because we don't need to come outside of the house... And because we're quarantined, we don't have any concept of what day of the week it is. Well, we know it's Thursday today, obviously, because of breakfast live, but just not thinking. You know what I'm saying? Baby, look good. Should I put more? Um, you could, you know, but may, may I wash my hand. I have to do 20 seconds. Hold on. <laughs> Countdown 19. He's washing it. 20 seconds, you guys. 17. 
16. 15. What does the warm prune juice do? It, yeah, it, sure. It, it what does the make you go? Make you go. Well, prune juice, yeah, is a laxative, I think. It is known mm -hmm. to um loosen the bubbles. So I guess that's why Troy, as he mentioned before, that's why he used to take it. We're just gonna finish the whole batter and fit. We might have to fill up the pot to the brim though with liquid to dilute why? it. You don't need for dilute. Babe, you don't love thick porridge. So Can I can't be. believe you're the one I like thick that. porridge now. Put some yeah man, we have to put milk to um the almond milk to help sweeten it and loosen the Yeah, it's it's super But Myrna, I didn't know. I didn't even think of the whisk thing for porridge. Ooh. It's so Myrna risky. always giving me some good advice. Advice. Watch the man. Myrna, the porridge is so whiskey right now. I feel Myrna, very whiskey. What have been what have been I've been doing with my life for all these times? You've been on whisking, but now you are very whiskable. All right, so liquid. Need more liquid. We barely have any space in the pot, so. <laughs> you go and drink porridge today for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Hallelujah. That is good. That is good. It need more. I can feel it. Mm-hmm. That's good. That's good. We have two strong, able-bodied men in the house, and the porridge is very, very healthy. It's it's one of those. You want more? Mm -hmm. Don't be afraid of the milk. Pour the milk. You understand? Yup, yup. Good morning to you. The porridge is now becoming very whiskable. All right. So we're gonna just cover it, make it do its thing. So you now put the cinnamon and anything, man. Yeah, you can put it from now. We're putting some Ceylon. Ceylon cinnamon. Yeah, I know what their dinner is tonight, Simone. Simone, Simone, you know, they fight wanted here, a lot of porridge, so they gonna drink porridge till porridge start come through them is. Where you use a little pumpkin spice. You have to whisk it while I'm adding because you know, chew is very whiskable. Don't put condensed milk. Put the regular. No more milk not going in there. Whatever milk we just pour in there, the almond milk. That's gonna be it. No more milk around here. No more milk. No more milk. Greater, I like a lot of nutmeg. Nutmeg? Hello, that's how I teach you to grate a nutmeg. Oh, much greater. Hmm? See? With it's life. Greater. But see, you yeah, rush me <laughs> on the greater in. Let's see. Go, yeah, okay. She does have a rush up on the greater in so. Me almost greater have my fingertip them now, you know. Let me do it. You want more? Mm hmm Wait. Baltimore in the house. Where that there? Maryland. Maryland in the house. Hey, come on. Can I do with some soft plantains? Ah, that, that would be a different flavor if you use the right plantains. I don't know if it, the texture would hold up either. It would. I think so. I mean, I feel it. I feel it. I don't think so. But you could try it. I mean, that's what I'll we make do. Me more. That's what we do in Yardy Belly Kitchen. Turn your hand, make fashion. So if it's ripe, you have. Ripe, you use. <laughs> yeah. That's enough, right? Yeah. And then vanilla. Vanilla. And guys, I want to try to get the real vanilla extract, but for some reason I don't know why I never um, see it when I go to the store. So we. Well, I forgot Whole Foods and them store there. That's why we have to use. We have the artificial. One. By Benjamin. Benjamin. Yes. That's it. Yeah, you need more. Yes. So that's one tablespoon or one teaspoon. One capful, two capful. That's good. Think so. Can I add more after I cook? Um, that's it. Yeah. All right. And I'm gonna add something else. I'm gonna add a little coconut oil. Not no. When you're sweetening. You sure? Mhm. Mm All right. So, see you guys in a bit.
and we turn the stove on medium to um because we have to make sure say you know we don't make that porridge burn and let me tell you something there is no worse a burn in a life than hot porridge if hot porridge burn you you feel your whole life flash before your eye and i tell you that that's how bad hot porridge is you know all right okay guys so we as we straighten up you know i i wanted to look i don't know if, if most of you guys follow me on instagram and see my instagram story recently you know but i was looking in the bible um, I know there are many persons on who may not necessarily be religious. However, please, I'm begging you to patronize me on this regard. So I was looking in the Bible at the book of Genesis and I read Genesis um, chapter 11 about the Tower of Babel. And something interesting jumped out at me. The Tower of Babel is about when men decided to build a, a, a tower all the way up to heaven. And God come down from heaven and confused them and change up the language and make people start talking different languages and as such people scattered across the earth and pooled together whoever speaks spanish go with the spanish speaking people whoever speaks french go with the french speaking people and they're about they're about they're about um whole john though we are we're actually cooking now and so it should be maybe the next what five minutes so long five minutes i mean how long let me know john Doe is asking you know, I would say don't forget the nutmeg, cinnamon, and three cup full of rare nevio. <laughs> what? Do I go in there? No, no, I try. <laughs> three cup I full of rare nevio. <laughs> so, in, in the story, in the story, real quick, real quick, guys, I promise you, in the story, you know, something jumped out at me. These men were speaking one language, they were all together. And they came and they, they started doing something that was unique and industrious. This was the first recording, um, the first in recorded history where men made bricks out of um, stone, you know, made, made clay bricks. And, and, and they made the clay bricks and then they said to themselves, make, let us make a building. So they started making clay bricks, then they said, make, let, make a building. And they made the building and they said, make, let, let's make the building higher. And they keep making the building higher until they, they decided they want to go to heaven. All right, Jamaica dogs, I just cook. I just took the banana fritters off the stove and they're cooling. I can't wait. Banana dog, that's so like you want some porridge to go with the fritters now. My feet are wait your way for our porridge in a start. My feet are wait your way for our porridge. No. This is the thing that jump out at me. Men are always trying to make a name for themselves. They're trying to do the impossible, trying to push the limits of their humanity to the highest place that they can do it. And, and, and in some sense of the word, achieving is great. But when your achievement seeks to supersede God's purpose and will for your life, then you step into the wrong situation. Men climb Mount Everest and many people dead trying to climb Mount Everest only because they want somebody climbing. Them can't stay up there for three minutes when them reach the top because they can die. They can freeze to death at the top. They are trying to be victorious. And after them spend, they, they, them spend their entire life trying to climb the mountain and them reach up there, they have to run back down quick because they cannot stay up there. The point I'm making is that we need to stay in our lane as it relates to human achievements and trying to big up yourself. Some people will step on others to big up themselves. And so these men decided we're going to make a, a, a tower. The next thing that I realized is that at the time when they were making this clay brick thing, that was industry that was that was technologically advancement for them at that time men has never made bricks out of clay every time that human beings find new technology they use it to overstep them boundaries and try to use it to supersede god so some people now are look on this big money where i try to make some biochip thing and them i try to use 5g and them i try to do all these them i try to use it this overstep them boundary. Every time that men seek to use technology against God, God confuse them and mash up them plants. So sometimes when we day up on the little low ends and we see what go on with this thing and people are say, oh 5G this and it's 5G that and it's biochip this and it's biochip that. Don't worry. 
Just put your mind back to the Tower of Babel or Babel and see what God do with people which I step out of line. We want God to mash up some plans and some aspirations that don't fit in his framework for humanity. Because sometimes you kill people and look at the pyramids in Egypt. In order to build those things, you know how much people died for one fear to have a dream to be buried in a big giant triangle. You know how much people died, guys? And so this morning I just wanted to remind us, you know, those of us who may be worried and maybe seeing all of this thing happening out on the street and be wondering about it. Remember, said no man can rise higher than them station. Because God indeed will come down and confuse the whole lot of them. Yeah? Oh, what parrots look now? That parrots look like it's ready to take off in a baby. Yeah, man, I'm going to show you how the parrots are looking now. Parrots are gone, man. Guys, look on the parrots. Parrots is, is occurring. Yeah, parrots look nice, man. It's not that thick again. You want a little salt, please? You want a little salt? Uh -huh. Here you go, baby. Salt. And you know you have to have a little salt to balance the thing, make the thing sort of, you know, permutate. That's my new word, guys, permutate. Yeah, make it, you know, fix up nice. Sound to me like the porridge ready. Yeah. And, it, and if you need a, a porridge spoon, yeah. I like it, babes. You like it? Mm -hmm. It look good to you? Mm -hmm. I'm turning off the stove car. If the porridge ever ever jump out of that pot, they are burning. They put in a little more, more cinnamon. Mm -hmm. They got that Dollar Tree whisk just like me. <laughs> Don't be bright. It's not a Dollar Tree Aras, whisk. A Ross, a Ross, a Ross. It was by no means a dollar. Or more. It's <laughs> wicked. Or out more. Of it's not Dollar Tree, but it's Ross. It's Ross. <laughs> Big difference. <laughs> Thank you, Troy. God bless you. Yes, as Simone said, the parish looks very eloquent. Yeah, and magnificent. <laughs> and magnificent. Uh, uh, <laughs> Simone, actually, you're there foreign. You're there foreign. You know, the, the highway can't take for coming down here now for the, for the, the parish. <laughs> no. You sure she's not there, right? No, no. Simone, where are you there? Where did you put the greater, baby? The greater? Yeah. I don't know. See, great in front of you there? No, the other one. She's that one way. <laughs> uh, Dollar Tree sell the, the same one. <laughs> Just different story. <laughs> and then guess what? A Dollar Feet are us. You know? <laughs> we are war. Really? Simone says she did work. I don't know, Simone. Simone, I don't know. If the drive through open up our house. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no, this porridge I feel nice and rich. I may have the best topping. My topping is gonna be nice in my porridge. Guys, in our house we have topping war who have the best topping for their porridge. And I never knew that till I moved to the, the United States that they, they, when we put crackers on it, a, a topping. Let me want me to do it. Hold this whisk. It's already open, baby. Oh. Betty Cracker. No, and the Betty Cracker does like dollar, dollar cracker. <laughs> when we add the coconut oil. We just add uh, a cap full of coconut oil, guys. That's about maybe um, a tablespoon. And, we spin it in the and the coconut oil is, is super great, guys. It has ketones in it that is good for mental health. And it also blocks, um, it destroys the, the okay. cells of viruses. Um, well, it destroyed the outer cell of viruses, you know, and then we are putting some coconut sugar. Show them the bag. Coming. Show them the bag. Coming. We're using a little coconut sugar and the coconut sugar is organic and it is great. It's sold at all the supermarket and this coconut sugar is low glycemic. So for people who are diabetic, um are, are have um any type of complications like that the soup the sugar is better than the other type of sugar because it's low glycemic all right so meaning that the glycemic low so anytime you're looking for the glycemic you have to look low down from the ground because it's not high only is antiviral too and garlic god bless <coughs> 
Uh, same way so try, same exact way so many of the plans of man's heart but God mash up the whole of them you understand, there is a way that seems right unto a man but the end of that way is death and destruction so we are really and truly here to educate people and to you know show people that you know you might not be a religious person but there is a supernatural being that is in charge of this thing here whether we like it or not a man a man can win over him. Anything will happen is part of his eternal plan. Yeah? Just to me. My parish, no, I'm me, me not telling you lie, guys. My parish has, my parish has, has shelled down the whole of foreign right now. Trust me. The parish has, mm, It's shellings. Shellings. No, man. Come, my parish look good, man. Look how my parish look good. You know, and so that's why we're doing this thing. We're making sure. Good evening to OSIM Sunday. Good evening. Good evening to you. It's morning where we are, but good evening to you. Blessings, blessings, blessings. This is. Joshua is mad. He's mad? Mm -hmm. About what? We're making noise? Porridge. Oh, then him can come make egg. Hold on. Guys, you hear this? Let me just bust this one for my channel because I need enough to see where I go into this house. So the little boy who now provide nothing, now pay the rent in a corona time, now go go work and bring in money, upset so we make porridge. Now, tell me in which part, in which universe that is a concern of mine. Hmm? In no worry. If you not drink it in the morning, you going to drink it in the evening. And if you don't drink it in the evening, you're going to drink it in the night. Because porridge is what we're cooking. Hallelujah. In your belly kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> These nowadays children. You may not know where I think. No. Man, mad say we make porridge. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry for him. I'm He's really not a fan of him. porridge and soup. I worse him get soup yesterday. He better drink the porridge because the doctor said he needs something hot in him body. In Simon, Simon, you know, hear this. Joshua, who not paid not a bill in a room, a pot. Eh? Why you guys making porridge? I don't want porridge. You know, eat dirt. Look how much grass out of the one tree, pan leaf, pan, um, leaf pan tree. Eh? Nobody wearing your child. If you add a thick and put that porridge in your ice cream maker, you will have ice cream porridge. You think a joke? Try. <laughs> try. You think a joke? Mm, you know what you're saying. Myrna, boy, I think I have time I spend and waste my energy with him. But you guys made porridge and I don't like porridge. But see ya. Eh? Tough and tough. Like a, like a Miss Mary, um, young cow up a, up a, up a hill. Eh, you know, it's a Jamaican um, course, right? Mm -hmm. eh? Boy, tough like a Miss Mary, young cow up the hill. But he don't want no parish. Okay. Alright guys, so now the now the big problem starting at the house. Watch I know. Somebody want to dress up for your parish better than my parish. Tell the what people what you're putting on your parish. Anybody can guess what that is? <sighs> and it's not long green rice. <laughs> Anybody can guess what that's on my porridge shop? Mm. You want it? Eh? You don't want it. I'm not really rush your things. I'm not really care, care to fit. fit, fit. Nobody say me a follow them. Add some semi sweet chocolate and bake, and you can sell some chocolate porridge bars. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Jamaica dog. Coconut, shredded coconut. Um, other than the little coconut sugar, we didn't put any other sugar yet. So, this is sweetened coconut that will help to give it a little bit of sweetness. And for mine, I'm just adding a little bit of broken pieces of cashew. Yeah. Because two men are really a rush. Nobody think. I don't want nobody say, oh, he take my idea. I just put some, some, some cashew. I'm only 
Not because you're going to lose. All right, guys. And anybody knows me knows that I like to have foods that have both savory and sweet. So, of course, you know, I have to add something with some savoriness. All right, I'll put the raisin. Boring, yeah, I know, but whatever. Boring, 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 but whatever. What else? What else? What else? I do a little thing, you know, guys. I don't really want to pressure her thing too much because, you know, too, I'm a wife here. I don't really want she to feel left out. Alright, I found this Velveeta protein um, breakfast cookie thingy, which is banana chocolate chunk flavor. So I'm going to crumble a little bit of that on top, too. My part looks better. <laughs> eh? You don't see like my fries look better. So this is giving me I was looking for granola but we don't have any so this is giving me granola vibes. Wait a second, you granny vibes? Joshua, you wanna <laughs> do your talking on your porridge? Joshua, which one look better? Don't mind look better? No, me like a granola looking one that's still in you know, the middle of And then to tie in back the savory I'm using plant chips. No, not to see for little bit of the granola pie. He's stealing my idea, you guys. So you have to deduct points for that. Where is mine? Oh, I didn't share it yet. So, plantain, chips, plantain. What is the same thing? Plant chips. Mm-hmm. Plant chips in the center. And then we have some honey right here. That never does drizzle on the top of it, you know? What you are it, I know. Just drizzle a little honey, you know? Yeah. Get your toppings. What toppings? I'm putting stereo. <laughs> My parts look better. John Doe says some fresh fruits and, and stuff would be on and berries would be nice on the top. John Doe, you know say most of the time we put our fruits them in the freezer because we don't want we don't want them to um to spoil for away, you know. But me I take your suggestion because you is a good youth. Your mother raised your right. You understand, John though? So. <laughs> so this is baby bear cup. I'm not done. going for his topping. Get it back. No man, I'm moving to the struggle. This is my porridge. Joshua porridge. Yeah, the porridge. Yeah. So Joshua gonna add more sugar to his porridge. You're not supposed to see what I put in mine. Lashon! Make up yourself. Blush Lash on like my porridge more. She said both of them. We no more Josh. That's enough. Now you're gonna put cereal. Look how I love sugar. So you're spinning it? We're gonna put the cereal around it first. And spin it when you're about to eat it. Exactly. Did you put the coffee sauce? Coffee sauce? The coffee thing? Mm -hmm. What coffee thing? I want coffee thing. You need this. Your porridge is going to be watery. I can tell you that. Leave him alone and make him do him thing of him porridge. Okay. Shall you try to tell the child what's going on? Tell him. 
Grab your phone, baby, and take a picture for my Instagram. It's right here. For my thumbnail. Um, I say it's my porridge. My porridge looks better than for them. That's all I say about the porridge argument. That's what it's so. Take it, Floyd. That's it. <laughs> Stop. I need more space. <laughs> no, no. No behavior. No, 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 Joshua. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so I'm not nah stop him. I'm not nah stop him. Make him do it. Fully belly, Virgin. <laughs> you see, Joshua, something oh, coconut cooking. Cinnamon toast crunch. Sugar and. No, no, Virgin. Mm -mm. That's terrible. I don't know what kind of parents you have to make you eat that, that thing. No, sir. There you have it, you guys. There is look on Joshua porridge, guys. Mm -hmm. After I try to win the topping war, look what Joshua put in a theme porridge. This is the wife's porridge with granola and coconut flakes and raisin and planting chips. I don't know what's going on there. It's plant porridge. And of course, this is mine with banana and cashew and granola. And strawberry <laughs> drizzled with honey, and this is planting potato sweet potato porridge on Yardy Belly TV. Planting sweet potato porridge on Yardy Belly TV. Ah, <laughs> uh, guys, that was our Instagram thing, you know, for our Instagram and for our thing, you know, and thing and thing. John Doe said we're supposed to put the frozen fruit in the microwave for a few seconds to thaw them out, then you can use them for topping. John Doe, man. Josh win hands down, Simon. Wow. Oh, Simon, really? <laughs> hands down, where? Where is the creativity? Simon, this is terrible, Simon. This is my telkino. That's telkino. It's true. Mine is the best. <laughs> oh, yeah. And if, don't forget that the sugar, the porridge have dates in there. But um, Melio said dates would be nice too on top, I guess. Yeah, mm, that like would be top yeah, dates date would be good. So guys, we thank you once again for joining us this morning. The time has really been spent properly. We have just, what, less than a minute to go, less than two minutes to go. And we thank you once again. This program was brought to you this week by One True Natural. And One True Natural has their own line of products. Mm -hmm. And it is a natural hair product line it is created for natural hair but not limited to the products are organic and all natural we have three products so far in the line let me sort out the camera yeah this is our flagship product which is the shine of mine nourishing oil blend which is awesome for the scalp in order to make your hair and the scalp healthy and nourished also add shine and seal and lock in the moisture in your hair which you, you guys would know if you're a natural that's a challenge and we have our jamaican black castor oil with a real deal authentic jamaican black castor oil from the hills of saint mary nothing else added real thick real nutty and nice and our genius product the castor oil mascara which is also a castor oil based product with a wand for lash and brow thickening and growth yeah follow one true natural on instagram and hit our shop now link to get your own awesome 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 um so guys we appreciate each and every one and you know setting so rough right now. if you are if you are out there and you wanna you know, you want to uh, sponsor Yardabelly TV. You want to be involved with Yardabelly TV. We have, we have information in the description box that you can come on board and work with us and thing. 
um, malu. <laughs> uh, no, we don't sell. We don't sell it. <laughs> we don't sell bird pepper. Bird pepper, the small tiny peppers that look like chili. <laughs> Uh, uh, eh, eh, I think so. <laughs> I think so. Um, and of course, the product line is is you can get the product on Etsy. Um, or, or go see. It's etsycom slash shop Etsy slash one true natural. Dot com slash. Let me see if I can find the slash. Here, courtesy of one true natural shop. <laughs> Slash <laughs> one true natural. natural. If if they, if they will allow me to put this link, like or is me. Mm, okay. It may, may jump up, but guys, I put the information in the description box, mm -hmm. so you can um you know patronize us as much as possible. And we're doing our best. We're trying our best, and we're hoping that you guys will stick and stay. We have more videos coming up, and I, I feel I'm gonna go live um, tomorrow evening. You know, just to be a, um, just to participate in the e Good Friday. You know, the whole vibe with Good Friday and thing and thing. Blessings to you guys. Thank you once again. Try. We appreciate you. We appreciate all those persons who. Um, Put out the effort. Who's crisscross? Crisscross, you know, crisscross criss to cross. make you jump, jump, jump. and daddy, daddy, daddy make you jump, jump. jump. Uh huh, uh huh. Me forgot, me forgot, me forgot. Put you back up in your history. Mm -hmm. you need, mm -hmm. you look like crisscross for you. I don't know who that is. Annie says she's gonna be making this for her husband. I saw the thing said Annie. So remember, you gonna love it. You gonna love it because me love it too. <laughs> Thank you guys once again. We are just one minute over our time. We appreciate love each and every one of you. Our peace. Remember, live and laugh. Cook and eat. <laughs> <laughs> one question. Why did the chicken cross the street? Why? Because Corona dip on the other side. <laughs> <laughs> Bye guys. Uh, it's, uh... <laughs>